What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another week of workouts. This is exciting. Why is this exciting? You guys, because my app has launched, okay? Something that I love about having an app now is everything is like in one place and so organized. I am gonna be putting a lot of these workouts into my app, which is something that I love. Like if I do a workout and I like it, I can add it in either as like a special week of workouts or I'm also even writing more programs. I am currently writing a new like booty focus, which I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth because that is just, I, it's like hard for me because I've never been like a booty focused person. Like I feel like that was pushed so heavily on all social media platforms. So I feel like I'm so like anti that I almost lacked training lower body because whole like a booty influencer thing. I was just like, mm, I'm going to do the exact opposite, but I have now realized that I, uh, I do definitely prioritize upper body a lot more than I do lower body. <sighs> And you know what? I need to change that. I have to do at least two lower body sessions. I really want to shoot for three. Five days a week is pushing me to my limits. And I actually really want to do this together. I need support. I hate lower body days. And I shouldn't be like that. They're so intense. Like part of me is like almost even a little bit self-conscious because guys were like girls only work booty. So I also need to prioritize core. I need to keep working core. So this week, what we're going to see three lower body days. I'm, I'm accountable. I'm literally filming this two upper body days, dude. This is, this is going to be crazy. So today's a booty day. I should have taken more pre-workout. I should have drank like 10 energy drinks because the drooling process of a lower body day. I'm going to try to make it as friendly, easy, and happy as possible. We're going to be in a good mindset. I'm going to listen to J Cole's entire album today. I'm ready. I'm going to put the AirPods in. Here we go. This is the key to a good workout, you guys, is hype yourself up, okay? We gotta get in a good headspace, putting the headphones in. This is gonna be a good workout. It's gonna be a good leg day, and it's gonna be a solid week of workouts. I'm freaking pumped. Here's our pre-gym car chat. Let's head to the gym, and let's get this left. Here we are at the gym and here I am recording a voiceover. I'm starting out with glute activation exercises and then I'm gonna move into foam rolling. When it comes to glute activation exercises, your glutes are naturally going to be quote woken up when you're just using those muscles in your lifts. So this is not mandatory, but if you wanna get a little bit of an extra kickstart to your workout, go ahead and add these in. I did not film any of my dynamic exercises, but I do have an entire YouTube video dedicated to my warm up routine that'll be linked in the description and I'll even do a little pop up here. I do this warm up before every lower and upper body day and I show it later on in this video. So I am sorry this is all I filmed, but foam rolling the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads to get myself warmed up because here we go. We're starting off with a big and bad hip thrust. I started off with a little bit of a lower weight to make sure I could fire up my glutes, getting in a really good pump, making sure I got a full range of motion, warming up my body, getting myself mentally prepared to add on more weight. And I want to hit a good set of 10 to 12 reps with this. And I also included the entire way of how I set up the bar, getting it up, so I know a lot of people have questions of how to even get a hip thrust up. Hopefully this is helpful. Just showing a little bit more behind the scenes of the hip thrust and squeezing at the top. Pretty good form right there, Bray. Looking, looking good. Wearing a big green t-shirt. You know, it's good. It's a good day. To make this really beginner friendly, I wanted to show how I load and unload the weights. So my gym has one of these bars that you could prop your bar on. That way you can take the weights on and off a lot easier. If your gym doesn't have one of these, you can use smaller plates to roll your weights on to add and take off. Or you can just do it like a normal where you just use your manpower and willpower to shove it on and off. I mean, that's what I've done for years until I just learned these couple of gym hacks. So. All of that will help work to get your hip thrust and even deadlifts set up. Exercise two are glute kickbacks. Now I use this machine instead of doing cable glute kickbacks. I've gotta be honest, I've gotta gain a little bit more confidence before I can do cable glute kickbacks. I don't know why I'm so intimidated because 
I feel almost embarrassed like having the ankle straps on and doing them. I feel like they were just made fun of so much that I'm too self-conscious to do them right now. And you know, I'm sorry that I feel that way, but this was a great alternative for me to do before stepping into the cable glute back world of booty influencing. Also my quads were on fire here, so yeah. Exercise three is seated hip abduction machine and I'm gonna do three sets of 20 and abduction is whenever it's going away from you and adduction is whenever it's coming close. So this is actually one of those machines where you can do the abduction and adduction. So I go ahead and superset them and do both. So I'm just doing three sets of 20 for each and trying to get a booty pump. That's what I'm chasing. And this is me moving into the hip adduction. Exercise four is back extensions. And I did 10 weighted and then I drop it and would do 10 more for a total of 20. So three sets of 20. And if you want, you can just do 20 body weight or you can do some weighted and then drop it and do more. I'll be honest, by the last set, I had to just do body weight because I was fried. My cheeks for once were feeling fried. And this made me realize I do not work my glutes enough. They're a huge muscle group in my body. I have totally been neglecting them and yeah, so happy to be working them now. And also this t-shirt, I took it off to protect the peach from unseen eyes or eyes that I did not want looking at because this is a very vulnerable position to be in. Am I right ladies? So here I am, I have finished. And honestly, you can tell by the look on my face how brutal that was. And surprise, exercise five are calf raises. I did three sets of 15 and I was thinking, when's the last time I've done calf raises? So this was actually really fun to throw in and I felt great. Day two of my workout split is back and biceps. This is one of my favorite days of all time. I love upper body days. So I'm starting out with T-bar rows and I'm doing three sets of eight. And I actually have to superset today because I'm so low on time. I had 30 minutes to get in and get out. So I've got a bunch of supersets in here. This is a really quick workout. But even though I'm really low on time, I'm still proud of myself for showing up because usually I would get too anxious and not even come to the gym knowing I could only do 30 to 45 minutes of a workout. But I came, I showed up for myself, which is a huge win. And now we're moving into bicep curls. I did three sets of 10 to 12. And honestly, I usually do four sets, but since time, I could only do three sets of both of these for this superset and I ended with a couple more of hammer curls. I'm basically trying to get the best pump the most out of my workout with it being such a short time frame. So Today I'm actually working out with Darian and he's also the cameraman. He was doing these rows and he was like, Britt, you should come try these. So I was like, okay, why not? Why not try a different exercise? So I did three sets of eight to 10 and then I superset them with waiter curls. Honestly, these make you look so jacked. So if you're a girly who's like, mm, maybe not, which I totally understand, you can do easy bar curls, you can do straight bar curls, you can sub any type of bicep curl, even with the cables, any type of bicep curl if you don't wanna do these waiter curls. The goal though is you wanna keep your elbows in tight and just recruit that bicep for these. I know that, you know, not all my girls wanna do that exercise though. And then I moved right into lat pull downs. I hadn't hit my lats really. Wanted to make sure I hit those before the end of the workout. Hit two back exercises, two biceps, and then ending on a lat workout. So I did three sets of eight to 10, probably 10 I'm thinking since I went a little bit lighter this whole workout as well. Day three is another leg day. Here's my warm up, and let me just say this turned out to be one of my favorite days. Darian and I have some gym friends that we met, and I always get roped into some of their shenanigans, so you're gonna watch some of that footage. It was so fun, so everybody, you can meet Eric and Rob. You 
guys, I just got roped in to their shenanigans and I'm dying. I'll show you. We have to push this one there and back. Oh my gosh. My dying. Explain what share. I just had to do. What I do. You want me to share? Share. share. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, I can't even walk. <laughs> Rob, guide me, Rob. Guide me. The dynamic duo, always roping me in. Let's go, let's go. Keep going. Almost there. Let's go. Nice. There you go. Are you going back? No. No. There you go. I have a champion right now. There you go. Come on. Good. You're done. Let's go. That, that'd be perfect right there. Let's go, let's go. That's easy. Could you just talk about how many plates I just pushed, though? That's all Todd, man. I've been training with Todd Lee. <laughs> Somebody do the math. How much weight that was? I'm dying. It's at, at least 100. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, did you get a handbag? I didn't even need to take pump today. You need a 360 right now. Yeah. 360. I didn't need to take pump. That's my leg workout. If I'm being honest, that completely fried my quads. They were so pumped. And this is a little bit more of a quad focused leg day anyway, so I knew I was done for. But heading into squats, I had to use a little bit lighter weight and I went for higher reps because honestly, my legs were toast. So I did three sets of eight to 10. From the dad in a hat, you just like clubbing and clothes. Me, I like afternoon naps. Three, I be missed for the road. My oldest like counter racks. My middle one, she's in a dirt bike. My youngest is just like a mama. The mama loves me and I love her so if she wants something it's never a bother. Three little ladies, my babies, and one on the way now I'm stressing my mom. And don't try to play around, don't try to play with them unless you're looking for problems. So don't try to play around, don't try to play with them. My brother's out with the drum. Four to five nights on the road. Count the days till I'm home. I could do show to show, but nothing is better than home. And it was so fun because I ended up putting polls on my Instagram saying, hey, you guys pick what I should do for my workouts and you guys Submitted them, so whatever you guys picked, I did. I see new loafers on motoring. I just want socks and stocks. I feel on top to top. Shipping a pop, they pop. Let's me dedicate. Head of the house like the head of state. Bring home the cash and the dinner plate. I go, I zoom, accelerate. I'm gonna be honest this right here was my biggest win of the day my legs were so tired I had like the utmost faith in myself I was like you know I'm gonna still try and hit three plates on each side and see if I can do 10 reps like that was my goal and I was like I'm really gonna try but I initially went into this thing I'm gonna strip the weight and do a little drop set because I was just fried but I ended up hitting three sets of 10 and I was so freaking proud of myself that's me saying I can't actually that's it I hit 10. You guys voted for Smith Machine reverse lunges, so that's what I did. And I'll be honest, some of these reverse lunges looked a little bit more like uh, static lunges at times because I was hurting. But I really pushed through and I'm proud. Again, I had to go pretty light on weight. My legs were shaking from doing three rounds of those sled pulls to start off. Like that was just a brutal beginning, but it was in the best way because for the rest of this workout, I was really able to hone in and push myself through everything. And honestly, sometimes changing it up brings the best workout. And I just, I had so much fun this day. If my quads weren't on fire enough already, I ended with leg extensions to absolutely demolish the rest of whatever willpower I have left and I did three sets of 15. Something else I also promised myself at the beginning of the week at the beginning of this video I said I need to incorporate at least one core workout ab workout so here I am following up with the promises I made myself and I'm doing these plate passes which are absolutely brutal and then straight into flutter kicks. I did this app routine a little while ago and loved it so I just repeated it again because I had no brain power left and I was like whatever 
I'm gonna do I'm just throwing this together but this was so good blast your lower abs as well as your obliques and just your entire core so I am completely dead as you can see and here's footage of me hardly able to move you're welcome if you try this you've been warned I was in need of a massive cool down because I could just tell how much tension I already had and I just needed to cool down. So I am foam rolling and I end up doing an entire stretching routine after this just to help out my body and help decrease soreness the next day. Good morning, you guys. Okay, headed to the gym, headed to have a push workout. Let me say, yesterday's workout kicked my butt. And I'm actually not sore today at all, which I am very surprised at because my legs were so pumped. I literally thought my legs were going to explode. They hurt so bad. So, we're headed to the gym. It's gonna be a good session. I'm in all purple. If you don't follow me on TikTok, I do get ready with me pretty much every single time I go to the gym. I love sharing my gym outfits over there. And with that being said, let's get this gym. Wait, wait, let's head to the gym and let's get this lift. Welcome back to my push day. Push just means chest, triceps, and shoulders. This was another workout where we were pushing it for time. We had about 30 to 45 minutes again. I'm still proud of myself for showing up. So I'm starting off with dumbbell chest press and I have to put this box here because I had to explain to Darian, this is not a flattering angle. Nobody wants to see things from this angle. Next up is incline bench. And I just wanna say this lift of mine specifically has increased so much, which I think is really cool. I remember, you know, last year I would do 30s and I remember the first time I hit 35s on incline bench, I was like, whoa, now I can hit 40s, I can hit 37.5s. Like this, it's just really cool to see what your body can do. So don't give up and keep pushing yourself. I did three sets of eight. Exercise three are tricep rope extensions and I did three sets of 10 to 12 and just working the triceps now I hit two chest now I got a good tricep exercise in and again I was so bummed that I was running low on time but you know I was doing my best that's why I kept my sets to three instead of four which I usually do but hey anything counts especially on those busy days again I'm just proud of myself for showing up and then I moved right into lateral raises so I could hit my shoulders just a little bit more on incline chest press you're also using your front delt so getting a little bit of lateral raises in there also trying to work my delt more and I did three sets of 10 for these as well good morning you guys it's another leg day it's my third leg day this week send help hopefully it's good fingers crossed but let's get dressed and head to the gym all right starting off this workout with a warm-up I did it. I finally filmed my warm up. It took me all week. So, this is an incline treadmill that you can walk backwards. I feel like it really helps strengthen my knees, and it's just a fun variation to walk backwards on an incline. And they have this resistance belt and everything. So, that is how I'm starting my warm up today. And then I'm going into my dynamic exercises where, hey, if you stuck around this long in the video, you now know what I do before a leg day. The gym was also so busy this day, so I'm doing my warm up in this little corner area. Sorry, the lighting's not as good. And also, Darian came to the rescue to film this. So, we love Darian. He is king. All of you know Team Never Skip a Warm Up, but if you're new to my channel, dynamic exercises are great for before your workout. It's bringing movement to your muscle, preparing your body for what you're about to do, and static stretching is great for after your workout. So doing all these dynamic exercises, opening up my hips, doing leg swings, going through my entire routine that I do all the time. Again, I can link that video somewhere else where you can watch in my entire warm up and I explain the benefits of it, what you should be doing, and why. And of course, I have to do a gym fit check. All of these Gymshark outfits are linked down below in the description box. Happy shopping. 
This again is for all my beginner besties because I got you, I love you, and you matter, you're important. So again, here's another clip of what the little claw barbell thing looks like and then you can just slide your weights on. It is so easy to do it this way. And if not, I just pick up the barbell with one hand and throw a weight on. I am starting off with deadlifts today. I did three sets of six to eight and I actually started with conventional and then I moved into RDLs after my first set. Conventional was just feeling a little bit off and I need to work on keeping my chest up. So I moved to RDLs and then busted out a set here. And it's so nice to be able to target hamstrings on this day since I've already done a little bit more of a glute bias day, a little bit more of a quad and glute day. Now it's a glute and hamstring day. So three leg days actually wasn't the worst, Exercise two are Bulgarian split squats, and I did three sets of eight to 10 each leg, and then I dropped the weight and would burn out. Exercise three was weighted at back extensions and I did three sets of 10 to 12. Exercise four are stability ball leg curls. These hammer the hamstrings. They're so good, super effective, and a fun variation if you have a bozu ball or if you have a yoga ball. These are so much fun to do. Last but not least, I really wanted to try a little glute circuit. I was feeling really good and my glutes were on fire and I wanted just a little bit more. So I did some glute bridges with a band. Then I moved into glute abductions and then straight into pulses. And this was so fire. The, I swear I had such a big pump, it was crazy. All right, you guys, that's going to wrap up this week of workouts. Honestly, I feel like the three leg days this week actually wasn't too bad. I actually quite enjoyed it because I didn't have to do as many leg exercises because I had three that week. So I didn't have to like cram and hip thrusts and deadlifts on the same day. I could break that out if I wanted to, which I really appreciated. It actually made it so much easier. So one day I focus on one big compound of hip thrusts, another day it's squats, and then the other day it's deadlifts. I actually love that. And it made my leg days way less intimidating. So I'm pretty stoked to work on creating a program for us and to kind of keep up with the split. Although the month of May, I've already taken a week-long vacation. I have another week-long vacation. So, you know, I'm also balancing life with enjoying my life and working out and work and everything. But I am excited to get this program up and soon. I'll keep you updated on that and we can all grow our lower body. Other than that, I feel like this, work, this week of workouts was really good. I felt discouraged a couple times, but it's just about like, continuously showing up. I was so short on time 
three of these workouts. I had to get in and get out so quick. I had like 45 minutes, so I had to squeeze this in. And I'm actually really proud of myself that even though I looked at the clock and I'm like, I seriously, by the time I get to the gym and leave, I have 30 to 45 minutes. I still went and showed up and tried to get the most out of it where a lot of times my anxiety or my stress would build up and say, oh, I only have 30 or 45 minutes. That's not enough time to get a good enough workout in. I'm just gonna skip it all together. Instead of saying, no, I'm still gonna go. I'm gonna get as much done in as I can. And that was a huge way that I could show up for myself this week. And it was really cool. That was a huge win for me. Other than that, actually trying a new workout split and kind of liking it was really rewarding. And I'm excited to keep trying that out. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I don't know, hit that bell or I don't know what other people say. Do whatever you want. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.